David. Um, I'm not entirely sure yet what I'm going to try to teach in this video, but I thought I might um, sign the phrase as I've set it up and kind of explain a little bit to you about why that is and show you each sign individually. So um, for the first sentence, the way that uh, sign language is designed is that when you're talking about a person, so the first part that you have is that um, I, I love your daughter which isn't in itself a very complicated sentence, but you always start with the subject first, so it would be your daughter. So we have the sign your, which is your palm out towards the person you're speaking to, and daughter is like a cup near your chin, and then out to like baby, so girl, baby. I, can't, I don't know if you can see my bottom arms, but it's like a baby. Um, so daughter, it's one smooth motion. So you would say your daughter, and when you're saying those two phrases, you always have your eyebrows up because it's indicating towards a person. And after those two words point to a designated area, you'll that for the rest of your signing, that space is going to signify her. So you'd say your daughter and point to that uh, space. That's letting them know the subject of the sentence. Um, and then you say what you want to say about her. So you'd say your daughter... I love her. And really, you don't have to say her. You kind of Some of the words that you used are sort of left out and kind of rearranged. But love is just um, crossing your arms with fists at your shoulders. And you can add expression. A lot of ASL is expression-based. So if you're like, yes, I love it, it's kind of meh, whatever. But you can add a lot of expression just showing your adoration and, and love for her. Um, so the first part of the sentence, really the first sentence that you're going to have would be, um, your daughter, I love. Um, that would translate to, I love your daughter. So, your daughter, point, sorry, I forgot that part. Your daughter, I love. The second half that I have is, um, you wrote, and ask for your blessing to marry her. And that was kind of complicated, so I broke it into something a little more simple, which um, basically what you're going to be saying is, I want to ask her to marry me. Um, do I have your blessing in doing that, basically? Um, so the first would be, I want. Want is um, like clawed fingers, and you just pull them in towards your body. So um, I want. Ask is this. It's a bending your index finger like this um, and you do it towards who you're asking so since you've already in the first sentence defined that this is the space where she is you should say ask toward her so I want to ask her to marry and that's cupped hands um, so just hold your own hand basically simple as that um, marry me I me they're the same Bless is, um, you have your two thumbs up to your lips, and then you bring them down, and as you're doing that, you open your hands and um, go like this. That's bless. So it's like you're kissing your thumbs, and then open your hands out and fan out your fingers. So bless, um, will, you. And when you say, bless, will you, lean forward a bit, and raise your eyebrows, that's the question. So the second part would be, I want ask her to marry me. Bless, will you? So all together, you will say, your daughter, I love. I want to ask her to marry me. Bless, will you? Uh, so it's a total of, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight signs, roughly. It's about eight signs. It's really easy. There's no finger spelling involved. Uh, hopefully I will meet with you tomorrow and be able to go over sort of more of the logistics, but hopefully you can watch this tonight, or at least before I see you tomorrow, and um, we can figure out what part of that you're having any difficulty with, or what have you. We can focus on something specifically, um, and I can go into any details you need about why this structure is that way, or an easy way to remember the signs, or maybe... Uh, it's only it's really eight signs besides the your and I, other than those, the pronouns. Other than pronouns, it's about eight signs, so that's pretty simple. Um, so I suppose I will 
meet with you tomorrow. Hopefully you can watch this tonight and we'll figure out what we need to work on. So I wish the best of luck to you. I hope it all works out. I'm sure that it will. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.